This question is a GMAT 650 to 700 level DS question in number properties. Divisibility properties is what is tested in this question. Is the positive integer x divisible by 12? That is a question. Let us look at the statements in a while. We know the 5 answer options. Let us again quickly circle back to the question. Is the positive integer, always remember these things could come in very handy in deciding how much information is required to answer the question. Right. We know x is a positive integer. What we need to figure out is whether this number is divisible by 21. The answer to such questions starting with yes, a B verb question is an yes or a no. That much is clear. When is the data sufficient? The data is sufficient when we have a definite yes or a definite no. Let's come back to the question. It's talking about a test of divisibility for 21. Test of divisibility for 21 is that the number x should be divisible by 3 and should be divisible by 7. It needs to satisfy both these divisibility conditions for the number to be divisible by 21. If it satisfies both, it will be divisible by 21. If it fails for one or more, it is not divisible by 3, cannot be divisible by 21. It is not divisible by 7, cannot be divisible by 21. Not divisible by 3 and not divisible by 7, cannot be divisible by 21. So, this is a perspective to solve this question. Start with statement 1. Statement 1 tells us that when x is divided by 14, the remainder is 4. So, x is such a number which is a multiple of 14, right? Essentially, we will say x by 14, there is a quotient which is k and the remainder is equal to 4. So, x is equal to 14k plus 4 is what we have. So, look at it. This number to be divisible by 21 should be divisible by 3 and should be divisible by 7. Let us check out whether this number is divisible by 7 to start with. 14k plus 4, let us try and divide it by 7. 14 is divisible by 7. So, any multiple of 14 will be divisible by 7. So, this part 14k is divisible by 7. 4 is not divisible by 7, which means that 14k plus 4 is not divisible by 7, right. So, that is what we get. It is not divisible by 7. 14k plus 4 is not divisible by 7. x is not divisible by 7. If x is not divisible by 7, x cannot be divisible by 21. We have a conclusive no as the answer. So, from statement 1, we know that if x is such a number, which when divided by 14 leaves a remainder of 4, it is a number that cannot be divisible by, that can never be divisible by 21. We have a conclusive answer with statement 1. 1 alone is sufficient, which means our answer options basically narrow down to A or D. Take a look at statement 2. Let us see if that gives us some anything useful information. x is divided by 15, the remainder is 5. Okay. So, again quickly writing it, we know that x is equal to some 15 q divided by 15, 15 q plus 5 is the kind of number we are talking about. To be divisible by 21, the number should be divisible by 3 and should be divisible by 7. In this case, let us check out whether it is divisible by 3 to start with. 15 q plus 5, I am trying to divide it by a 3. 15 is divisible by 3, which means any multiple of 15 will be divisible by 3. This part passes the test. 5 is not divisible by 3, which means 15 q plus 5 will not be divisible by 3, which means x is not divisible by 3, is not divisible by 3. If x is not divisible by 3, it cannot be divisible by 21. So, again with statement 2, we are getting a conclusive no as the answer. Statement 1 gave us a no as the answer. Statement 2 is also given us a no as an answer. Each statement has conclusively given us an answer and independently given that. So, each statement is independently sufficient. Choice D is the answer to this question.